the topic uh, of this workshop is uh, how to do qualitative research and if you see the trend from the last few years the uh, top journals are looking for the articles uh, which are in new areas like uh, because scenario is changing very fast especially in business and uh, industries are facing new problems every day so every month brings some new information nowadays in the last few years you can see that uh, some new concepts comes of uh, demonetization social distancing covid right mask so uh, work work from home online education so these are the new things which are coming up and changes the life of everybody so the qualitative researcher have to identify recognize the new phenomena and on the basis of the new phenomena he try to identify some new problem areas and uh, want to do research on that a traditional qu uh, quantitative researcher uh, normally ignore all these changes so i am telling you in one uh, one example in almost every workshop i uh, tell you tell the different ways of collecting the data in qualitative research but after that when i talk to the people and i ask them have you uh, studied your research on qualitative analysis then they then they uh, answer me yes sir we made a questionnaire for that so now i start thinking so after even attending the workshop so they their mindset is remain same it means even after even after uh, attending the workshop different workshops so whenever research comes in their mind they first start designing the questionnaire so that is something amazing that i am right because qualitative research don't require questionnaire it requires different kind of data set so we have to understand that uh, what kind of mindset is required for uh, qualitative research workshop qualitative research so we are going to discuss slowly and slowly and uh, the first time in this workshop i have conducted uh, an nvo workshop almost 6 uh, or 7 times for open workshop as well as workshop for the different institutes and the universities the first time i will open the uh, session for query after the after my session will be over and let's discuss on the different ideas different topics which can be uh, picked from for the research okay so um, in this slide just i welcome you and uh, some basic information of uh, email id and mobile number is there which you already have now let's move to the formal workshop okay so you can see that uh, qualitative data uh, so what is what do you mean by qualitative data and believe me i had a discussion with so many people and they say that sir i am doing a qualitative study then i asked them uh, what qualitative study you are doing they told me sir uh, we collected the uh, data from questionnaire and we are going to do a qualitative study and so many researchers say me sir in in our research we will do some qualitative study and when i discuss their research topic i found that they do not know the abc of qualitative analysis so that is a very big confusion in the uh, in the scholars in the researchers that what exactly a qualitative research is uh, in so many questionnaires i have found that they included some open ended questions like what is your suggestion what problem you faced right any open ended questions and in most of the open ended questions the scholars don't know what to do with this so they simply keep all the responses as it is because uh, that data is the only quality data data in the questionnaire which is available in the open end open ended questions 
otherwise every number whatever you collected from the questionnaire is quantitative side so in one sentence if i uh, tell you qualitative data is that data which cannot be expressed in numbers so any data which cannot be expressed in numbers is qualitative data now if you in in our daily life we read newspapers and we saw the news channels and we uh, different we different uh, blogs we read right we see the data on the facebook and we uh, see the data in uh, twitter in social media there is a lot of data in social media there is a lot of data and more more than that you received at least 15 20 calls every day and whatever you discussed with your friends right is actually the qualitative data and suppose you are talking to your guide you are talking to a expert that data is also qualitative data right so you can think how much qualitative data we are having around us the problem is that we can we are not able to convert that data into qualitative data qualitative research so that is the problem right so uh, we will discuss the uh, qualitative research uh, if i tell you about myself i am a consultant and i am giving consultancy to many people so whatever i am telling you is based on my uh, experience so i have a uh, more than 15 year experience in my consulting and i consulted more than 200 phd scholars 200 uh, research papers and so on so i hope i can enrich your mind okay so qualitative research design we will discuss all the research design in discuss in detail so let's move to the next slide now in the first this slide the purpose of this slide is to is to differentiate or to understand the difference between qualitative data and the quantitative data so if you see this iceberg this iceberg is having 90% of the portion under the water and only 10% of the uh, portion right which you can see and uh, which is visible the problem is that this 90% of the iceberg is invisible you can't see from the open eyes uh, you can see only the 10% iceberg which is above the ground level same case we have in the case of quantitative data and qualitative data the problem is that the qualitative data is around us in the form of newspapers blogs books research papers articles right Uh, the telephone chats the video chats news but the problem is that we are not giving focus on this kind of data we are focusing on the only 10% of the data which is collected from the questionnaire which is collected with the help of survey which is collected from the secondary sources like there are many uh, softwares which are providing you the data set so we are running after this 10% of the data ignoring the 90% of the qualitative data so this is one of the problem that uh, uh, we are suffering from and even if you are do, whether you are writing a research paper whether you are uh, doing a phd so i have seen that 90% of the scholars are completely ignore this qualitative data so if you understand what is qualitative data and you can incorporate this analysis in the research paper i think your the quality of the research paper will shoot up because in last two months i have uh, guided some of the qualitative research study uh, so i know that in first go the paper will publish okay so uh, let's now see this uh, this 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 tarajo kya kehte hain english mein aap bhul gaya so see this uh, see this and we are comparing the qualitative research and quantitative research okay now uh, this this is the, this, this is the properties of qualitative research and this is the property of quantitative research in qualitative research uh, the data is unstructured in nature unstructured means there is no formal structure of the data 
data can be in pictures data can be in videos data can be in uh, words data can be in uh, movies songs so all these are the part of qualitative data so i repeat uh, word file pdf file uh, social media data songs movies right so all these data we count in the uh, qualitative data and this is entirely unstructured however when we uh, see the quantitative data the quantitative quantitative data is kept in a particular format we keep quantitative data in excel file we keep quantitative data in spss so we put all the data in a format in a particular format in a standardized format and uh, there are many softwares which are used to keep the quantitative data but the problem is that where to keep this qualitative data that is a problem so that problem we are going to solve with the help of nvivo software so when we do the analysis of quantitative research the basic objective the basic objective of quantitative data is to do the statistical analysis to examine the hypothesis testing and to arrive at a conclusion right and the conclusion is for uh, solving some kind of problem or for hypothesis testing and the quant quantitative data we collect with the help of surveys questionnaires interviews experiments like that and in quantitative data everything is in the form of number so whatever we collect in quantitative that is entirely in number but in qualitative data when we analyze the quant qualitative data the focus is not on conclusion the focus on summary so we the uh, we analyze the qualitative data to summarize it right and there are different forms of summaries like we can summarize the data in the form of themes we can summarize the data in the form of sentiments we can summarize the data in the form of word cloud frequency distribution frequency distribution of the keywords so there are different kinds of summary we are using in in qualitative data analysis so we are collecting the data with the help of interviews focus group observations and different other sources like interviews transcripts songs video social media and so on so i hope uh, you have some clarity that what is the difference between qualitative data and the quantitative data okay so uh, now after this we are moving to the next slide and uh, i hope you are with me till now now the um, qualitative data is actually qualitative data is around us right so slowly and slowly you will understand that uh, what i mean but let me let move from here okay so now some detailed uh, features of the qualitative data so we know that the qualitative data is unstructured data and like interview transcript so whenever we uh, take the interview of the people and uh, whenever you talk to your guide or simply whenever you talk to a knowledgeable person right so whatever you you discuss with that person if you convert it into a word file that is called transcript so interviews have so many information with with us and we should know how to use the discussion for the research paper right so if you uh, if you become expert of qualitative research i know that by taking interviews you can convert into a research paper also because uh, one of the scholar she is asking she is uh, taking interviews of different faculties and basically uh, she is calling all the faculties and saying that hello how are you so are you using the online education what problem you are facing in that i am facing this kind of problem and what is the benefits you are having in the online online system so what is your experience with online system and by the taking this interview they are connecting the uh, they are they are converting the discussion into the research paper so uh, interview transcript is one of the important source interview transcript is one of the important source of qualitative data 
right now the second is pictures right i can uh, i see many research papers are based on pictures from instagram right so there is a for example i am giving you uh, one simple example uh, i have i will show you that paper also somebody want to know that that what is the feature of social media influencers because in instagram you can see that there are so many people who are posting their photographs and there are so many followers who are following them so if you want to analyze these pictures so what kind of picture they are floating right so what are the different contents of these pictures so you can write a complete paper on that also you can write a uh, write the uh, research papers only on the base of pictures in one uh, research i conducted one study on the advertisement pictures right for example i want to know that which kind of content the companies are using to influence their customers right so like for uh, some of the com companies i found that they are using only the celebrities like coca cola uh, pepsi and these all the all the chocolate companies they always engage some uh, uh, celebrities to sell their products however if you uh, saw the saw the advertisement of some other product line like online education except shahrukh khan in byju's you cannot see any any of the uh, a celebrity in online education advertisement so uh, you can do research on that and can find out that uh, which kind of contents the companies are using to attract their customers similarly songs there are uh, like in advertisement the companies are using songs to promote their product so sometimes songs are very important you can analyze the songs also audio tweets uh, audio tweets social media etc so these are the different kind of data in uh, qualitative research then then second data can be collected from interviews right you know that uh, we have entire entire speech of pm modi in the website you can download uh, the all the speech given by the pm modi in uh, man ki baat and uh, any other source right you can analyze that what is the content or what is the theme the prime minister is having in their mind and similarly we are having the interviews of uh, trump and different personalities so you can uh, download these interviews you can connect convert these interviews in the research also right so interview is one of the source uh, which is e easily available on the net in uh, youtube you can find out the interviews of different famous personalities and you can think of uh, writing a research paper on the on the basis of these interviews so i hope uh, the ideas are coming in your mind and uh, you you start thinking that what can we do further similarly observations also observation means when you go to a mall you are not collecting the data you are only observing the behavior like for example uh, nowadays when i go to the supermarket for buying i have seen the different uh, changes in the behavior of the people some some people are so cautious about the corona virus then uh, they are they are always keep distance of 6 feet from everybody and some people are so careless that they if they don't even put the mask on their face so the you can observe all these things and uh, you can also convert your observation into a paper on on the basis of qualitative research similarly uh, content analysis we can do content analysis means uh, we divide the picture or the video or or different things into content like for example when we saw the movie and we always say that the emotional content of this picture is very good or the fight content this the, uh, this movie is full of the fight if you see any uh, movie of salman khan uh, you can find out that there is no story in the movie and uh, the only content in the movie is uh, fighting and humoring humor scene of the of the hero right so uh, we some of the reviewers say that this movie is full of 
emotional content this movie is full of drama content the uh, starting and the ending of this movie is very good the storyline of this uh, movie is very good so all these uh, words are used which i am using here are the content for example when i saw the ad whenever i saw the ad and uh, because uh, as a qualitative researcher uh, i want to find out that uh, celebrity is there or not song is there or not and jingle is there or not colorful background is there or not and uh, uh, any social message is there or not right uh, product information is there or not so all these things which i am telling you are the content are the content right so uh, uh, the content analysis we can do and we can do the content analysis of newspaper books videos case records so all these uh, all these are the raw material for qualitative research so in five days workshop uh, we will discuss each and everything in very detail and i know that uh, all of you will be my brand ambassador so let's keep hope for the best <laughs> the next point which i am going to discuss here so there is a, there is a there is a difference between the qualitative research and the quantitative research Qu quantitative research are mostly guided by some existing theory and that's why we call them a uh, deductive approach in most of the uh, quantitative studies we are guided by existing literature we are guiding by existing theories so the focus of the quantitative research is on hypothesis testing and drawing the conclusion so this is the major focus of quantitative research but in qualitative research the focus is not to test the theory the focus is is to form some new theory and frankly speaking we indians are very good in making the theory right we indians are very good in developing the theory and uh, defining the theory and every person is having his own theory right so when we define the theory like if i ask you simple uh, ask you simple questions why in india uh, the parents always want their uh, daughters to be married before 25 right so you can you can whatever you will tell me i can develop a theory on that so even i can uh, if i ask you why in indian society the uh, late marriages are not considered very good so you can tell me the theory on that if i if i ask you that why in india the young uh, students are looking for good jobs they are not looking for the for the new business new ideas for the business so they are looking for the safe job every parent tell their uh, ch uh, children that good career means good jobs right why they are not moving towards the business why why they are not good entrepreneurs if you go to the europe everybody want to do his or her business right so they they, they don't want to do the job so the culture is totally different so you have different theories uh, there are many theories of entrepreneurship which which are coming from the qualitative research so qualitative research also provides you different theories and if you have some experience you can also develop your own theory uh, when i talk to the mutual fund managers so they have their own theories and when i talk to uh, different my seniors so they have different theories if you uh, if you join a job your boss will can tell you different theory that uh, hard work is not required to succeed in the business uh, job you have to buttering uh, you have to do buttering for your boss so there are different theories okay so all the so whenever you are developing a theory on the basis of the observation this approach is known as grounded theory so we will discuss uh, on gro on grounded theory also and in qualitative research we don't generalize our findings rather we uh read the observations we find out the themes out of that so the uh, the objective of qualitative study is to find out the research question to answer the research question we don't do hypothesis testing in the qualitative research this may be very very shocking for you that uh, 
is in qualitative research there is no hypothesis yes there is no hypothesis in qualitative research there is no hypothesis the objective is not to test the hypothesis rather we pick a problem and find out the solution from that so problem statement and the solution of uh, the problems are important hypothesis testing is not the objective okay and uh, we don't do experimentation also in quality in uh, quantitative study we do a lot of experimentation we change some of the input variables to see the effect on output variables but in uh, qualitative studies the ex there is a less chances on experimentation and uh, we examine the perception actions feeling of the participants okay uh, we obtain detailed information from interviews content analysis yeah the last line now see read the last line because we are going to discuss a lot on these last line coding themes nodes transcripts word trees mind maps text mining etc so these are the different keywords which are which are we are going to discuss again and again again and again in the qualitative research and i hope that after this uh, workshop you have complete clarity on each of the these these topic today may not you uh, or most of the words may be new for you but i hope after this workshop you have understanding on these topics now uh, <clears throat> so these are the different areas where we do different kind of research in qualitative research so let me uh, discuss some of the important features of the qualitative research so in qualitative research you can see that i divided the slide into two parts so uh, the first is grounded theory ethnography phenomenology field research narratives so these are the qualitative research methods and whatever i write uh, on the right hand side thematic analysis content analysis sentiment analysis text mining image analytics basically these are the techniques that we will use in qualitative research okay so basically i should uh, write one thing here so these are the these are the qualitative research methods and these are the qualitative research techniques so we will discuss on each and uh, i will explain each and every thing so let's discuss first on the grounded theory approach uh, as i told you earlier that we are having different theories built by different people and uh, so what is this grounded theory approach so some of the examples i am giving to you like uh, uh, there is a famous personality and i was listening the lecture of that personality a few weeks ago and he say that in india there is one of the common reason why the business uh, failure fails like for example you can see that jp associate jp associate uh, was a empire, empire just uh, 10 years ago but now jp associate is nothing similarly you can see that uh, there are many other companies which were the king in earlier days and now they are not they are nowhere so he said that in india there is a big problem the problem is of trust whenever the promoter uh, open a company and uh, after establishing the company after a long uh, long period so when he want to uh, appoint a manager to manage many activities so what he do he find out the that person who is working in the company from the many years from the last many years right and uh, made him the next manager or give him the most responsible position why because he is working from the last 10 years or so last 15 years and actually if you because all of you are working in different organization you know that only those people will stay with the company who are not able to find out best job in outside 
so basically all the people all these people are 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 the careless people or are the lazy people who don't want to move from one job to another job and rather they they they, they continue their job in in with the existing company so the uh, personality call this theory as a ramu kaka theory means uh, we want to give responsible positions for the ramu, for the ramu kaka who are working with us from last 30 years and he is actually capable of driving the car uh, he is having the capability of only as a driver or as a uh, caretaker but we made that person ceo of the company and because of that he will um, spoil the company after that and uh, again i was talking with one of the mutual fund manager and he was telling me the the stock market is moving like a like a ball so whenever you throw a ball in uh, to the background to the ground the ball touches the ground and then comes up then touches the ground then comes up so the stock market whenever the stock market falls it falls like that so that theory is known as uh, bouncing theory bouncing ball theory right and whenever the stock market moves up the movement is like a mountain so when you uh, when you start walking in a mountain right so when you reach at a peak it will take a lot of time to reach at a peak but when you when you come down you comes very fast so a stock market comes down very fast and moves up very slowly and slowly slowly so there are many theories about the finance about the companies about the people and so on and one of the uh, one of the paper i read uh, in that paper the research question is that the factors affecting a uh, number of uh, companies number of divisions in a company right for example if i ask you uh, at present mukesh amani is having three divisions number 1 jio number 2 retail and number 3 petroleum so why reliance is having only three divisions right similarly there are many ex other examples uh, so what are the factors which affects that that a company have how many divisions right and you may be surprised to know the answer is that how many children they have they have the equal number of divisions so uh, all these theories are coming by the qualitative research there is no established theory which can uh, give you the uh, intelligence about or solution of these problems so grounded theory is a approach grounded theory is a approach when you observe something and take collect the data to define the define or explain the observation so you are observing something and you are collecting the data qualitative data to define that phenomena so that is called the approach of grounded theory so uh, i hope you understand what is grounded theory because i explained you in a very simple language uh, i will i already sent you many papers Uh, which are based on different different aspects of uh, qualitative research we will discuss some more papers in coming days so i hope you understand the basic of grounded theory then we are having another concept called ethnography and uh, uh, i uh, i have i had one colleague in my previous organization and he always say that i am an expert of uh, qualitative research and i am doing ethnography so at the time i was new to uh, new to this qualitative research and thought the ethnography may be some magical a very typical uh, rocket science uh, because he is always saying that i am doing ethnography i am doing ethno ethnography so i thought ethnography was a, uh, uh, is a very difficult thing but actually when i start uh, conducting when i start taking the projects so i came to know that ethnography is nothing it is the it is the research on the culture research on the culture for example if i ask you that uh, can you explain the bengali culture or can you explain the african culture or can you explain the european culture or us culture or australian culture canadian culture punjabi culture so you can tell me the different examples with explanation that uh, this culture is having this uh, feature this culture is having these features uh, 
right i can tell you that about my culture i belong to a rajput family and rajput family are not very wise people so they uh, they are full of motivation but wisdom by uh, wisdom they are very poor similarly i can see that bengalis so they are they are highly uh, intelligent people and they don't uh, uh, fight with each other they support each other when you go to europe you find different culture when you go to africa you can find find different culture so everywhere the culture is different so if you are studying the culture of a community if your purpose of the research is to study the community so then this research is called ethnography now the problem is that how to how to write a paper on ethnography obviously you have to go there first of all you cannot write a paper on uh, africans without going to the africa so you have to go there spend time there and uh, see their whole uh, functions attend their functions and uh, find out the specific uh, features of their culture their habits study their habits and uh, study their history that from where this culture is coming from where their habit is coming right why uh, they are different how they are different and why they are different so when you do this kind of study this is known as ethnography so you can see that ethnography is nothing it is the in depth understanding of the culture in depth understanding of the culture right so it, it uh, study the culture values of of the culture and finally you have come out with some observations which may be good for others also right so this is called ethnography after that we are having the phenomenology which is gaining popularity a lot of uh, today phenomenology means uh, i am giving you some examples like first of once i met the uh, patient of cancer and uh, the cancer patients are very common today and uh, they are telling me the their experience that uh, how they suffer the problems of uh, chemo chemotherapy and uh, different other problems they faced during the uh, during their therapy so if uh, you want to write a paper on the experience shared by the cancer patients or in today's context if you want to if you want to write uh, the experience of corona patients or if you want to write the experience of uh, uh, maybe some other kind of experience this study of experience is known as phenomenology so you can see that phenomenology means the lived experience so you have to understand the experience of different people uh nowadays you can write the experience of corona corona patients so how they experience their their the period of quarantine right and uh, in one study the scholar studied the experience of uh, employees which are suffering from some uh, disability so if your research problem is to find out the problems faced by the employees with disability so this could be the example of phenomenology you can also identify uh, you can also study the experience of the army people uh, right you can write the paper on problems faced by them so this may be comes into phenomenology so phenomenology is simply means uh, the explanation of the experience so this is known as phenomenology and uh, the then comes narratives 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 is simply the story writing story writing so anybody uh, who is very good in narrating means how to explain anything with the help of the story so this is known as narratives right because you know that uh, there are many movies coming today and uh, they have different styles of narrating the story 
they have different styles of opening the movie they have different styles of closing the movie so the art of telling the story is called narratives so narratives is also a part of qualitative study and uh, you must know how to tell a story so this is uh, again uh, the art of qualitative research okay now the uh, next point which i want to discuss is you that there are two types of research approach uh, this topic is very common uh, and i hope everybody of you understand what is the difference between deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning basically there are two approaches of research one is deductive reasoning and second is inductive reasoning quantitative studies so let me uh, tell you that quantitative studies are motivating by or influenced by the theory they are guided by the theory and then from the theory we go to the hypothesis then we collect the data and we test these hypotheses so this approach is known as deductive reasoning and most of the quantitative studies is following this approach but when we come to the uh, qualitative approach you can see that first of all we observe something and uh, when we observe the same thing again and again then we try to find out a pattern and then we uh, try to find out the solution of that pattern a tentative assumption we can make on uh, in qualitative research and uh, when we observe the same pattern again and again then it can be converted into a theory and nowadays uh, most of the people are doing the inductive reasoning based papers they take the data from the different websites like marketing people can collect the data from customer review and uh, uh, different reviews are there in the websites so you are developing a theory on the base of their reviews or this kind of data so in this case the result is in theory and it is starts from the observation so the study is start from the observation and ends up to to a theory so this approach where we want to form the theory rather than uh, testing a theory so when we test a existing theory this is called deductive reasoning and uh, when we form a theory we call it inductive reasoning okay so this is the logical process of establishing a general proposition on the basis of observation of a particular facts okay so uh, today theoretical lecture is over now i i, I want to show you that uh, what we are going to learn in uh, coming sessions so word cloud we will understand what how to make word cloud how to make mind maps how to do the sentiment analysis how to uh, make the word summaries how to make the comparison diagrams uh, so these analysis we will do and today because we this is the first today the first day so we are also going to understand how to manage the data in nvivo software so when you open the nvivo this is kind of this is the front page you can see and we always go uh, go for the uh, blank project these are the different recent projects on which we are working and uh, but if you want to open some existing project you can open from here and uh, if you want to start a new project you can start from here and after that this page will come so this is the uh, front page of nvivo software and uh, we are having the navigation icons so all these icons all the icons are navigation icons like data file file classification externals node sentiment all these are navigation and all these are the uh, so we can import the files from here and these are the different commands mentioned in the nvivo so we will we are having a practical session on that also and after that uh, i just want to tell you we are going to cover these few commands today like how to start a new project how to import the different files how to make different folders and uh, how to uh, make new classification how to define the attributes and how to do the cross tabulation and all so uh, this is the end of the theoretical session 
and this is the front page of nvivo whenever you open the nvivo so now i will tell you each and everything uh, slowly and slowly because now we are discussing the uh, practical part so if anybody want to note down uh, you can take pen and paper and can please note down some of these steps uh, this is the front page these are the different uh, existing files on which i am working and uh, but because i want to show you the uh, blank file first i am i am going to click the blank project and uh, software is asking for the name so i am saying that this is for session number 1 session 1 and uh, the software want to ask from where you want to save it so i am saving on the desktop uh, okay plain desktop and uh, save okay so now a blank file will open so this is the blank file entirely blank file and uh, so we don't want this quick start steps it is a page by the nvivo so this is the front page of nvivo this part is known as a uh, navigation part so the left hand side vertical part all these, these these are the options which comes in the navigation part and we are having these icons and these are the, there are different icons of different commands first of all number 1 i am showing you how to import the files so i will show you the five type of files which i can import uh import so when i click on the import you can see that there are different kind of icons which are highlighted now and uh, we can import the uh, social media data using the end capture we can download the files import the files with the help of this command we can import excel file test file survey monkey call tricks we can import spss file and note mendeley ref reference work jotaro all the four are basically uh, used for maintaining the research papers you can see it is a, they comes in the section of bibliography and uh, these are the different notes like memos and note one note outlook email so you can download the data from here also and you can download the report and and any code book also so i i am showing you uh, how to import the different kind of files for example i am uh, going to import five type of files so number 1 i am going to import the interview transcript so these are my interview transcript select and click open and then import so after this this green i line is showing the process now all of the files i have here and then i want to import uh, next type of files for example i want to uh, download the import the movies so you can see that these are the movies open so the movies will come here and you can import only those movies which are in the extension of point dot avi uh, because this nvo only import that those uh, those video files which have the extension of dot avi then i will import some other files like i want to import uh, pdf files so these are the different pdf files which i am uh, using for uh, some purpose so after that i can import the pdf file also uh, so you can see that now i am i am having the pdf files now i am going to import some other files like pictures so these are the different pictures i want to import and uh, open import now the software also imported the pictures so these are the different pictures and uh, then i want to import the audio files so i have some songs uh, i want to import these songs so you can see that uh, i can also import the songs so software will show you the process here the green line is increasing slowly and slowly showing you the process of import now now uh, this is the process i can import the different files 
so today i will show you i will tell you that how to uh, manage this kind of data so then uh, i will go to the create so you can see that we are having a uh, option of create and i want to create the folder so my first folder is pictures then my second folder is the videos because i have to keep all the files in different uh, folders and third is transcript uh, then i want to create another folder for my pdf files okay so now i i i am sending uh, okay one more uh, songs so i created the different folders and i will send my files in the respective folder you just select and send uh, the files to the transcript all the files are in transcript so i send them uh, all the files are the movies i shift to the videos similarly all these are the uh, pdf files i am sending to the pdf files uh, these are the pictures so they go to the pictures and these are the songs and songs should go to the songs uh, okay now we have created the different folders and uh, these different folders are there here in the different folders so first of all i click on the uh, transcripts so transcript will come when i click on the songs the songs will come when i click on the pictures pictures will come pdf files and videos so you can uh, you, you can use these folders for all the different uh, type of files now i am showing you how to do the cross tabulation so first of all i click on the uh, for example let's say transcript and i am having the data of uh, seven entrepreneurs and all the transcript if you click on the transcript you can see the transcript here uh, similarly if i click on th this part you can see all the transcript here and uh, so i just cross it I, suppose uh, i want to tell i want to define all these files uh, so i just right click and you can see that uh, there is an option called new file new case classification so just see the command uh, basically i am defining the demographic of uh, these people uh, this is a kind of metadata uh, it means data about the data i am i am giving some information to the existing data so i am going to this option so let me repeat first of all i go to this uh, all files classification new case classification and i want to add information about the demo graphics so okay okay so uh, you can see that in files okay in this option cases uh, we are having a co option called case classification right so if i click on this demographics will come now what is the purpose of it basically when we import the data we assign some new information or additional information to the data files so here i am uh, defining some more information on the demographics so that's why i created this demographics and if i click on the demographics so you can see that uh, i am i have to assign the information about the demographics for these people so but what information i have to give i have to define for example uh, if i right click and click on the new attribute so this option you can see and this new attribute is the information for example i want to tell the gender of the people so uh, so you can see that now the gender is unassigned uh, so we have to click on the gender 
and uh, because always we have to give some values one for male and two for female like that so i click on the values and uh, the software is saying that two values are two type of options are already there and uh, but i have to add something i say that uh, the value is one uh, the value is uh, male okay so now add we have also the females and click apply okay so now if you click on uh, this part so you can see that there are four options comes unassigned non applicable it is by default but because i define two values male and female so you can say the apurva joshi is a female and uh, arundeep is a male so in this way we can find we can give the different values to the files okay rajiv telwar is a male shaili female suresh kabra is male okay so tell me are you with me or i should repeat this process repeat this process so don't worry uh, because this software is new i understand your problem and uh, i know that this is a not very easy thing so let me cut it and uh, tell you once again <clears throat> okay so i delete each and everything so i have the files so i just click on the files which i put my uh, in my folder uh, after importing the files and keep all the files in my folder i just want to add some additional data about my files so this is the objective right so now i am repeating the step again first of all the purpose is to define the additional information of the existing files now i am uh, selecting i am i want to give the additional information to these files so first i select all and then i do a right click and after that we are having a option called classification and the new case classification so if we are having a option called new case classification so i repeat i select all right click classification and new case classification now software is asking that what kind of information you are putting so i say that i want i have some demographic information about the files and uh, okay now software will ask that what information you are having please give me the information so i give to the classification so here i defined this classification called demographic so i think up to here i you are with me say yes or say repeat if you want to repeat it okay so up to here i just defined the new information now i i right click on this because in demographic we have gender age income so many other information so i want to give these information and all these information are known as attribute in qualitative study so i want to click on new attribute so my new attribute is first gender this is the new attribute i want to give and because software is asking that in gender what new information you are having so i said i have values and these two options are automatically there so don't worry these two options always comes but we have to add it so add means what we are having some males add and we are having some females so we are having two information in gender male and female two categories and after that you can click okay after that i have some other information like for example uh, 
new attribute i want to define as age group i also have the data of the real age group so to values you can say uh, the less than 35 years add then uh, 35 to 50 years add more than 50 years so in this way you can define the values okay add now again i click on one more uh, one more attribute uh, new attribute let's say let's say uh, <clears throat> education and uh, i have two education technical and uh, let's say uh, managerial yeah professional professional so you can add as per your information and just click okay so we are having three informations if i click on the demographics so you can see uh, these options here and you have to just assign whether this is a female an arundeep is a male yandikshit a male munmun female uh, rajiv male shelly female suresh male similarly age group uh, less than this year so i just do randomly so you can feed the data like this okay similarly in education uh, technical professional technical professional and this so <laughs> this uh, data is known as metadata because we are providing the data to the data okay so uh, now we have defined the metadata data and all after that i am telling you how to define the theme how to define the theme so let me go to the uh, transcripts again remove it okay uh, now you can see that we are having all these files and uh, we want to do some thematic analysis or some uh, content analysis so how to define the themes so you can go to the create and you can create the node so this node so what is this node this node is basically like a construct like a broad theme so uh, like for example if i want to study on the entrepreneur maybe the challenges they face is a theme maybe the lifestyle they are following is a theme maybe uh, the habits they have is a theme so i can create a node and can say the themes are their habits this is theme number one and uh, then the second theme i want to generate is uh, create node the success factors like like this so we can have we can define the themes like this and all these themes uh, comes in the node so if you click on the node you can th you can see the themes here on which we will do the study so there is a complete thematic study uh, in which i will discuss about the themes now i will uh, show you the uh, different type of data set we are working on like uh, in videos first of all let's start with videos so all these videos are there if you want to analyze or run any video you can uh, click on this so video will come here and uh, you can see that you can play here you can stop here and uh, the, the most important button here is uh, transcript so this button will only open when you click on edit so if you click on the edit the most important button now is is active 
and you can see the name of this button is called transcribe so you can uh, make your own transcription on the basis of this video uh, if you want to play uh, just i am showing you one example if you play it uh, you may not uh, listen the video because uh, uh, because i have to adjust the sound whenever uh, you want to listen it but uh, i am showing you that the time line is moving here and if i click stop and uh, play again so you can you can make your notes here and every time you click stop so you can make your notes here you can make your notes here so i will show you the systematic process on the day in my coming workshop how to analyze a video so you can make your notes here and uh, each and everything come in this then you can save all the notes for the future references or for your research paper similarly if i click on the songs so all the songs will come here and uh, if i play it uh, i add um okay so you can see the timeline of the song if i click on the edit uh, and play the song will play start playing and volume i will keep lowest so if i play you can see that it is playing and i am listening what is coming coming and i can make my notes here and if i just stop and play again i can my make notes here so similarly i can make notes on of the songs also okay so this i will also show you in uh, my coming lecture and then transcript come go to the transcript okay so uh, because we can do the thematic analysis on the text mining on the uh, on these transcripts uh, just i am showing you if i go to the explore and click on the text frequency uh i can click on this to make the word clouds okay so you will see the word cloud coming shortly yeah so you can make uh, the the word clouds and uh, you can make the cluster analysis from here so th this is the cluster analysis and uh, we can see the cluster analysis like this you can rotate it and uh, can uh, make different graphs and uh, <clears throat> if if you if you want to any click on any transcript you can see all the transcripts and we want to convert all the transcript in a particular format for that we need to click on this and after clicking on this uh, you can see all the headings are coming and uh, suppose i want to make this as heading or a code i can click on this heading number 1 so after that you can see the color of it. this will change and i can use this for my different purpose if suppose i uh, want to keep this word important so i can make it colorful also so you can see that uh, i can find out the important statement and uh, do the colorful so that i can define this as a as my code or my node so uh, the purpose of today is not to uh, discuss the text mining or different techniques uh, rather you must understand how to maintain the data uh, if you manage to keep the data here so you can do so many things and uh, let me show you one thing let me try it <clears throat> i want to make a file file okay so we can do the cross tab between the uh, nodes and the uh, my all the information which i give to different files but because uh, my all the nodes are empty so i cannot run this exercise i will show you this exercise uh, of doing cross tabulation 
this is called cross tabulation tool so we can do cross tabulation between the nodes and the additional information but by uh, today my node is uh, node are empty so i cannot do that but uh, i will uh, send the ready made file to you so that we can do all the uh, steps when my uh, themes and nodes are filled okay so i think uh, uh, this is the demonstration of uh, nvivo and uh, today is the first day not uh, i cannot tell you too much uh, of this so first of all try to maintain all the uh, data files like this so that we can do further analysis from tomorrow anything which you want which you want me to repeat you can tell and i will repeat that and after that i will give you one exercise uh, which is known as mind map okay <laughs> okay so you want to see the word cloud uh, because today we are going to discuss on the word cloud in detail how to create code code uh, actually all, all the things which uh, will come in my coming session so i don't want to discuss all these things uh, in detail today because the whole session of tomorrow is based on the text mining the third day i will discuss whole session on the thematic analysis codes and notes fourth day uh, is uh, dedicated to the sentiment analysis and the social media data analysis so uh, advanced thing i am not telling today because most of you are very new and uh, so don't worry all of your queries uh, will be solved but tell me uh this anything which is not clear in the coming today session okay uh if you click on the notes you will see the notes only so these are the notes if you click on the songs you can see the songs if you can if you see if you click on the case classification you can see the case classification so the purpose is to manage the data uh word cloud you can okay first go to the uh, pdf files suppose i want to make the word cloud of this and uh, go to the explore uh, click on the word frequency and uh, run this query and click on the word cloud so you have the word cloud but today i will discuss uh, more in detail about all these things so don't worry so today kindly learn to maintain the data how to maintain the data first so once you know how to maintain the data then we can don't go to the advanced study like so can you tell me one more feature can you tell me one more feature okay uh the all, all these are my data in nvivo one thing is very clear we will we are not going to dis, uh, discuss the quantitative data here so don't expect me to analyze the quantitative data we are going to discuss only the qualitative data so like pdf data picture data song data transcript data video data i will not import the uh, number data here right okay and uh, you can download spss data that is not a problem you can download excel data that is not a problem so you just try because uh, if you click on here you can import the uh, spss data also if you click on excel file you can download the import the excel file and i don't have any of this software so otherwise you will if you click on mendeley you can you can download the papers from the mendeley so just uh, try uh, all these things and uh, try to maintain all the data set so we discussed how to import the data how to make the folders how to make the notes how to make the class classification how to provide the additional data to the software using the uh, case classification of the attributes so i hope after this uh, we can go to the advanced stage okay so uh, this is now <clears throat> uh, 
okay so you are asking me to share the data that is not a problem i will share all the data with you uh, all the data that i have will be shared today and uh, so i am thinking to make a, a google drive from where you can you can put all the data and uh, okay so um okay so uh, formally i hope uh, i am visible and you can uh, i am audible also so one or two yes is sufficient to start fine so i now i can start basically uh, the topic is the text mining and uh, i hope you understand what is text text means uh, any any document which consists of the words we include that document into the text even if you are having the audio recordings if you convert into transcript then that transcript is also considered as a text then uh, we are having the newspapers articles blogs and uh, even some data from the social network even if we download the twitter data that is downloaded in the text form so uh, all these data sets are considered to be the text data and today we are going to discuss uh, how to what is the different features different properties different precautions we should take in text analysis as you can see in this slide the first step of text mining is the uh, data acquisition so first of all we acquire the data and we make some changes in the data also like uh, uh, we have to highlight some of the words we have to uh, make some uh, sentence in italics we have to give color to some of the important words so some kind of reading is required uh, one thing i can say here uh, if you have the text document you have to read it also because if you don't read the documents there is no point of doing the analysis so without reading qualitative analysis will not work and after acquiring the data then we do some transformations we do some cleaning and i will discuss what we are going to clean and how we are going to clean some cleaning is automatically done by the software and some of the cleaning uh, we have to do okay so some flexibility we have in text pre processing and after text pre processing then we can go to the modeling we can go to the modeling like we can go to the uh, different kind of analysis and uh, uh, like we can do okay so there are different models we, we, which we are going to discuss and after that we want to summarize the analysis so this is the normal process we we have to do with text mine in text mining now uh, so this is the front page now the there are four important properties in a uh, text document so we know that the texts are more important than numbers words are always more more powerful than numbers right so because numbers have many limitations you can record the numbers in a systematic way and software are very comfortable in analyzing the numbers but i'm telling you uh, words are more powerful words have more meaning if you are having some text document some important information can be drawn uh, easily and effectively as compared to numbers right uh, and the second thing which is very important that uh, qualitative data is around us if you have facility of recording your uh, uh, telephone chat you can also record your telephone conversations you can record your uh, uh, video files right you can keep video files convert into the text documents you can have the so many interviews you have the newspapers right so qualitative data is around us and uh, if i ask you that how many words you speak in a day you cannot imagine that how many words we speak in a day and uh, uh, one thing that everybody in india believes that uh, there is a saraswati goddess who uh, comes on the tongue and after that you uh, say very informative uh, 
you provide information to others so words are very important right and the, the question is that how to analyze the words so that is the topic of today uh, qualitative data is actually around us and uh, there are many uh, emotions like i like you uh, you cannot express in numbers right emotions we you can easily express in words rather than in numbers but the limitation in text mining is that uh, because we we are dependent on the softwares so so the most of the document we need in english so that is one of the problem that we are having uh, in text mining right the uh, if you have any document in hindi if you have any document in uh, urdu german russian chinese the problem is that you cannot analyze that so the language play a very important role in text mining uh, sometimes we uh, download the data from the twitter and the problem comes when the this data comes in uh, urdu russian african right so then uh, software also uh, feel that uh, uh, software is also helpless that uh, how can i analyze all these things if if algorithm are there to analyze the different languages that's fine but i think no software is made up to now who can analyze the urdu or bihari or any other bengali and other local languages so that is the problem is that uh, we have to convert the transcript or the document in english so this is one of the problem that we have in uh, text mining okay so these are the different uh, analysis we can do in text mining like data cleaning uh, sentiment analysis word cloud cluster correspondence so all the uh, all the analysis we will see today and uh, i hope in this slide i only want to say that qualitative data is very important and uh, as it is as uh, if you compare the size of qualitative data as compared to quantitative data it is nine times it is more than 10 times right and uh, it it only the mindset is required only a research mindset is required uh, if you have that kind of research mindset you can convert the uh, problems into papers okay so let's move to the next slide because uh, nothing technical in this now if you have the raw data uh, so first of all we have to clean it so now some technical points uh, i am going to discuss and we will now discuss slowly and slowly so if you see this this is raw data and this is the clean data now if i ask you that what is the difference between this raw data and the clean data uh, you can identify few things which are not in the clean data like first uh, thing which we can identify are known as like d d is not here in the clean data the dot is not here in the clean data similarly there are many other words which may not be having in the clean data so what exactly we want to clean so if if i ask you that uh, if uh, use your common sense to think what we should not include in the uh, actual data the, the data which we are going to analyze so i am writing some of the uh, ideas that you are giving to me okay so one by one i am uh, giving you the idea number 1 uh, there is a concept of called stop words and these stop words should not be in the clean data stop word means like uh, from to is in on the right all the words are known as stop words actually any word which is uh, not having any meaning is not important for us because you cannot make all the words as themes you cannot consider all the words for your uh, for uh, your keywords so all the words are not keywords so the words should, these words should be removed then second thing which you should remove is punctuation punctuation means like a uh, dot comma uh, inverted comma so all all the things should be removed from the document so uh, punctuation should also be removed and one thing uh, you can you can observe that all the words in the clean data are in the lower case 
the lower case right lower case upper case i hope you understand right so uh, the first letter of each word is in small small case so this is one of the rule in text mining that uh, the you have to convert all the words into the lower case and uh, i have not seen any software except r uh, which is working on the upper case so either we have to convert all the words into the lower case or we convert or we have to convert all the words into lower case so in uh, in text mining almost every software is converting the word into the lower case so that we can uh, use them in the analysis then uh, you can see that there is a concept called white space white space uh, should not be there it white space means uh, there should not be any uh, more space between the two words right uh, so white space i will also explain you and then you should not have any digits or numbers so we avoid the digits or numbers into the clean data so when we analyze the text data we try to remove the digits or the numbers right in because uh, in quantitative data we want to remove the alphabets because software only can analyze the uh, the numbers the software cannot analyze the words spss software any other software they cannot analyze the words they can analyze only the numbers similarly in uh, qualitative softwares they are not analyzing the numbers they are analyzing the words so we have to remove digits or or the words then another thing which we should remove is special characters special characters right special characters like uh, like dollar like uh, rupee uh, rupee ka symbol hota hai na wo aise 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 so rupee uh, like so all these special characters like and and hash so we try to remove all the characters also from the uh, raw data in clean data whatever is uh, so we have the set of important keywords in the clean data only and uh, sometimes we have to manage the synonyms uh right i hope you understand synonyms and stemming also so i will discuss the stemming and the synonyms also so these are the uh, basic properties that we should take care take care in pre processing of the data file so let me uh, discuss some more things to you and uh, so that we have clarity on this so whatever i write you can see in this slide just see uh, whatever i write in this slide so what we have to remove from the data we have to remove the digits we have to remove the special characters punctuations lower case we have to convert all the words into the lower case a wide space a stop words stemming and after removing all the seven problems uh, first seven problems whatever is remaining is known as the uh, bag of words bag of words right so uh, i hope you understand that you what is the meaning of each and every word which is written in the slide okay and uh, uh, <clears throat> you can import pdf file you can import uh, word file that is not a problem software will convert each and everything uh, you can import excel file also you can import the data from the textbook also uh, so the software will read from these words okay uh, what is the bag of words try to understand bag so all of you have seen the bag and uh, if we keep all the important words in that bag that is called that, that that is known as bag of words right uh, so when you go to the market you bring uh, uh, you take a bag with you and you keep all the important things in that bag so what in uh, text processing we are doing we are finding out the important words and keep those important words in our bag and uh, this word this bag of word is known as bag of words so simply it is a it is a bag of words 
and uh, some problems uh, like stemming i will explain uh, there is a separate slide for that but uh, some some of the problems like digits numbers we understand what is the uh, special characters like and hash right so we have to remove percentage also at the rate also so these are the uh, special characters which we to we should remove punctuation i hope you understand lower case you understand uh, white space uh, you also understand because when we remove the unimportant words some space comes between the sentence in the sentence so we have to remove that space also after that uh, stop words stemming and bag of words i will explain okay so some of the concept i will explain in this case you can see that uh, the uh, stop words basically all the words written here like group from to is or am a u this with all these words are basically known as stop words and the uh, the there is a property of these words that uh, these words have no meaning in the english, english language so uh, without them you cannot complete the sentence it is true but uh, the the meaning of the sentence are not to, not very high, right they they're not meaningful uh, they are not meaningful with respect to the research point of view so that's why uh, we remove all these words and the uh, mechanism of removing all these words is known as the stop stop words dictionary so there are two type of mechanism of removing these words number 1 uh, software have inbuilt dictionary of these stop words like uh, uh, almost in r we are having a dictionary in nvivo nvivo is also using some dictionary it is a, it is a inbuilt dictionary in the software and software by default remove all these words and uh, second mechanism is that if you want you can remove uh, the stop words manually also because in every language like uh, we are talking in english we are talking in hindi also and sometimes we mix hindi and english like uh, for there are many words which are in hindi and we are using in english language also so software will remove these words uh, software will not remove these words rather you have to remove these words for example uh, man man is uh, like so uh, pradhan mantri have man ki baat and uh, the, so basically man is a hindi word and yeah, right baat is a hindi word bhai aur behno is a hindi word mitro is a hindi word so basically whenever you uh, translate the speech into the english so then you have problem in uh, converting these words so therefore uh, in most of the newspaper you can see that they write m a n n k i b a w t so basically they are writing the uh, hindi word in english and there are so many words like this and uh, the problem is that when you have a document when uh, which are having these kind of words basically we are writing the hindi words in english language so then software will not remove will not treat these words as a stop words so you yourself uh, have to find out these words and will uh, remove or declare those words as a stop, stop word so we have to be very very cautious in treating these stop words okay so i hope uh, you are with me and you understand what is this stop words okay <clears throat> um uh, i request you don't put unnecessary uh, queries in the uh, chat box because uh, i we are going to discuss our uh, detail and uh, so if you understand only say yes uh, stop words i hope you, i hope you understand and uh, there is a uh, emerging science also emerging science of the language processing in machine learning there is a area and uh, this area is known as language processing so nlp is stand for natural language processing and uh, in uh, in this science basically we are analyzing the language the words which are used in a particular language so uh, this this science of natural language processing is also very upcoming area and uh, so I, maybe in coming days i will uh, offer a workshop in nlp also because uh, nowadays 
anybody who is nlp trainer can earn a very handsome amount uh, nlp is a very upcoming area in hr and psychology okay so uh, nlp is the extension of the text mining it is one of the extension of the uh, text mining i hope uh, i have covered each and everything uh, which is there in this slide fine now uh, let's move to the next okay now you are asking that what is stemming is stemming i am telling you now uh, you have seen a tree and a tree is having a so many branches right so the problem is that uh, are the branches are different from the tree like you can see there is a word called consult and consult is a basic word and you can extend this word as consultant consulting consultants consultative consulting right so these are the different extension of the word consult similarly uh, like connect connected connection connections connects connect so these are the extensions right uh, similarly wait waits waiting waited basically the question is that now listen carefully the question is that are these words are same or the words are different are these words are same uh, so do you do you want the software to consider consult and consultative is equal consult and consultants are equal consult consult and consulting is equal so you have to answer in yes and no i am telling you one problem like uh, uh, in one study i was doing the research and uh, the problem is that i want to study the educators there is a word called educators right and uh, uh, in the documents so the uh, actually the word is education education is the is the main word we can extend this word education as educating educators educate right now the question is software is asking me so do you consider that education and educate educators are same so if i say yes then the software will consider all the words as the same as, as this same word one single word but the problem is that i want to do research on educators but software is uh, uh, software is considering education educate right educating is as, a, as similar to educators so sometimes we can assume at equal and sometimes we have to consider them different so that problem is known as stemming problem and actually when you analyze uh, when you do the text mining in other softwares so most of the softwares have different kind of problems in dealing with the stemming so stemming is actually a problem and uh, some of the researchers say that we can ignore this problem because all the words are different so one view is that uh, consult and consulting are different consult consultants are different and one of the theory say that one of the uh, some of the researchers say that they are same they are not different so you as a researcher have to decide so whether we should uh, consider all these these words as similar words or these words as a different words so it is entirely subjective you have to decide uh, what to decide now one thing i am telling again it is the extent of stemming so there is a problem of synonym right synonym is like uh, talk and uh, uh, speak are the same word right they are synonyms to each other then software will also ask you that uh, whether you consider synonym as, as a single word or you treat synonym as a different word so now you have to decide that what to do should i consider all synonyms as a single word or should i uh, uh, treat all the single all the different synonyms as a separate words i hope you understand so it is subjective there is no clear cut answer of these problems it depends upon the research to research in some research synonyms are considered similar and in some research they are considered to be different so uh, it's just a question of the common sense that uh, i will explain with the help of example also so whether we should keep similar or whether we should keep different 
so i hope you understand what is the problem of this stemming problem okay after this stemming problem and uh, the uh, after removing all the problems so you can see a bag so this is a bag in this bag all the important words are there and uh, we can use these words and we can analyze these words right so on the basis of the analysis of using these words uh, we can make the reports we can make the conclusions and we can make different type of reports okay so uh, i will show you different uh, outputs that we will generate today like i will we will generate the word cloud uh, word frequency actually word frequency and the word cloud and then we generate the word trees then we uh, uh, learned how to make the mind map and uh, so i will show you that how to make this mind map and if somebody belong to ob area just uh, remind me because I, i i i remember that emotional intelligence is is consisting of two parts self social after that i forget so social awareness and uh, i just read one social skills motivation regulation and awareness so uh, the, the this map if you can see this map this is original uh, mind map and the this original mind map basically if you want to plot a mind map manually you can do like this but software will convert this mind map like this so in most of the cases or papers you can report this mind map it is a uh, very good facility in the nvo you can make different type of mind maps so we will learn today how to make all these mind mind maps uh, okay uh, so these are the uh, uh, some of the keywords which we'll use okay so my uh, theoretical session is over and now i am going to demonstrate you uh, the nvo part and uh, after that we will discuss the research papers so the first part is over and uh, i hope you enjoyed this part and some clarity uh, you have so <clears throat> i okay so we are having we are going to start with some of the files these are all the word files and we are going to do the text mining on on the files so first of all uh, if i click on the any of the text like for example if i, if I click on the gyan dikshit uh what you have to do after this because today i am doing it uh, tomorrow you have to prepare with this this practice i am telling you please see carefully uh, all of you have to do this practice uh, otherwise we cannot uh, do the session tomorrow so uh, this practice in this practice what we are going to do number 1 uh, we have to click on each file first we have to click on the edit and uh, after the edit you can see that all these are highlighted headings so we have to select each question we have to select each question and click on the heading one after that it becomes blue similarly i am going to uh, do this for all the questions and i want you to do it, uh, after this class and to, to, to tomorrow we will use the application of this practice so like i am selecting the question number 3 and will select on and click on heading 1 so this is one of the process that we have to do always and uh, similarly i have to select the questions and click on the heading one uh heading number 1 ye kaam aap sabhi ne aaj sham ko karna hai iske baad lecture ke baad so i am so basically we are defining the questions as heading one so that we can convert into some output fine so uh, i think i have finished it for one file i will i will also do for the rest of the file but uh, 
after the session you have to do it with all other files so this is point number 1 the the application of this part i will show you tomorrow okay number 2 so in this way you can you know that how to uh, make the changes in the file suppose uh, i like this word and uh, i can do some changes also i can make it italics i have to click on edit and uh, uh, i can make some changes in the file so because some changes we do as per the requirement like for example i can make it italics and i can also give it the color right so uh, uh, all the changes you can do with the word file fine so um, let's move i am crossing it and hope that the exercise which i uh, do just now you have to do it with on other files in this transcript folder after that we go to the explore there is a option called explore we are going to that and uh, we are going to the option called word frequency word frequency now uh, one once we have clicked on the word frequency the software ask me that uh, search in files and externals so you can see that we have to select what file we are we want to explore uh, you can click on the selected folder and uh, i select this uh, files so i want to analyze only the transcript so i clicked on this transcript so you can see that i have pdf file also i have pictures also but i want to do the text mining on the transcript so i clicked only on the transcript i am not selecting any other and okay so you can define that uh, on which folder on which files you want to do the analysis number one number two the software is asking when asking how many frequent word you want to analyze so by default it is 1000 but uh, i i will not anal I want to analyze 1000 words i want to analyze the 100 top 100 frequent words so this also depends upon the requirement and uh, in most of the cases we want to see the top 50 or top 20 or top 30 so as per your criteria you can change it uh, so i am showing you the top 100 words or let me show you the top 50 words uh, i want to see who, which words are the which comes which words are the most frequent words right which are the top 50 most frequent words and second the software is asking what should be the length of these words length of the words means if i say a j a y there are four alphabets comes in this so how many number of alphabet do you require for the words three one two or three so it also depends upon the requirement some say three is sufficient some say one is also fine some say five is also fine because i'm telling you one of the experience in one of the study the objective is to analyze the uh, the language patterns in the whatsapp chat uh, somebody who is who belongs to the language uh, language department and she wanted to analyze the uh, the whatsapp chats so in whatsapp chats the problem is that uh, most of us are using the single letter word like for for example y o u is written as u right so one word is also sufficient here in that case we selected the one right other than uh, you can select four, four or five so i am selecting three i am go with the three and uh, so i hope you understand what is the meaning of 50 uh, uh, what is the meaning of three three means three alphabet i know i want in the word after that you can see the the problem this software is asking that uh, you want exact match or you want stemming words you you go with synonym you go with specializations or you go with generalizations so here these two problems are these three problems are big problem one two three so you have to select uh, whether you want to go for one first option whether you want to go for second option third option so i am telling you what is the difference between uh, these options if you select first option it means each word is different from other words so in this case the talk is different from the talking 
राइट सो एग्जैक्टली एडुकेट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एजुकेशन एजुकेशन इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एडुकेटर्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट ईच वर्ड एज ए यूनिक वर्ड देन यू कैन क्लिक ऑन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन एंड इफ यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लब एजुकेशन एडुकेट एडुकेटर्स एज सिंगल वर्ड देन यू कैन गो फॉर ऑप्शन नंबर टू एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेलेक्ट थर्ड वर्ड मीन्स यू वॉन्ट टीचिंग एंड एडुकेशन इज द सेम वर्ड बिकॉज दे आर हैविंग द सेम मीनिंग दे आर सिनोनिज्म सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप ऑल सिनोनिज्म एज ए सिंगल वर्ड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन थर्ड ऑप्शन राइट सो बेसिकली वी आर हैविंग थ्री ऑप्शन and you have to select any of the option from here so um, but first of all i am clicking on the option number 1 and uh, let's move so i want to run this query so if you want to run the analysis we have to click on this run or run query so if i click on the run query the software will do the text mining and give the result to me so i clicked on the run query and you can see that software do all the analysis and give me the result now i have to decide that any stop word is there in the list or not for example this one now i confused i have con uh, confusion that whether this one word is important word is a, is a keyword or is a stop word so every uh, uh, word you have to analyze uh, and decide whether this word is my important word and this word my keyword basically this o n e one i don't think i do, don't feel this word is very important keyword for me so i i want to decide i want to declare this word as a keyword as a sorry stop word so i can right click on it and can click on add to stop word list so after this step this software send this word to the stop word list and this word will not appear if i run the analysis again so let me uh, declare this word as a stop word list so a word to add one and okay so now if i run the analysis again you will not see this word in the list similarly in this pet i don't know whether this word is important online word is important for me success is important for me pet again i confused whether this word is word is important or not so let it be product is important india is not a keyword it is a country so let me put this into the stop word list because uh, india has no meaning actually it is a name so name should be uh, i can put in the stop word and uh, run query so this word all will be deleted from the list life is good service is good years uh, years is again a stop word so i am also removing this word uh, whatever decision i am taking is on on the basis of my common sense and uh, uh so online success pet product life size service habit people product next next uh, may be important may not be important now is not important now i want to put again in the stop word list so in this way you can see that we will decide that whether um, the word is a stop word or whether the word is a meaningful word uh, once you completed with this step you can go to the second option in the right hand side you can see there are there are four options uh, summary word cloud this part you can see this option summary word cloud tree map cluster so i want to see the word cloud now the word cloud will come and uh, let's uh, see this word cloud so i hope you can see this word cloud and uh, three words are prominent in the word cloud product online success and life service product so all the important keywords comes here and uh, you can use this important keywords i am telling you in almost 100% papers made on qualitative analysis have this word cloud so i have seen so many papers and uh, any paper which is based on the text mining have to report this uh, word cloud so i hope you understand how much word uh, word cloud is important and you may be surprised to know many universities have uh, the whole whole wall right covered with word cloud because i am going to uh, teach in different universities and i have seen these the these word cloud on the complete wall in the classroom so the and uh, the word these word clouds are very very uh, effective in advertisement also 
I have because uh, uh, when I started my website, so initially I don't I know that I put all the word clouds in my website. So because I see I feel that this word cloud is convey the meaningful information by one picture. So word clouds are very important, and uh, larger the size of the word, it means they are they are exist they are existing in the document with high frequency. And if I click on the summary, uh, because we have seen this also, this uh, this table, you may not believe, I found in almost every research paper. So these these are my keywords. This is the length. This is the count, and this is the weighted percentage. I will show you many papers which which are reporting this word frequency table. So word frequency table is very important table, and it will show you the count and the weightage of the uh, word in the document. Then we have we can go to the word cloud, and then a tree map is not very important because a tree map is the represent representation tabular representation of the word cloud, and like for for example online comes first means online is found with the highest frequency followed by success pet and so on. After that some of the papers I uh, also show the cluster analysis, so you can see the clusters of words, right? So uh, some of the uh, papers in some of the papers i have seen this this cluster also so this what is this cluster cluster are those words which are which found in near to each other so those those words which are found near to each other comes in one cluster so if you if you click on the plus sign you can uh, increase you can see all the words clearly like uh, uh, these words comes in one cluster and uh, these words these words comes in cluster another cluster right so if you read the read the document you can understand why they are why, why they are in one cluster the reason of uh, coming all the words in one cluster is simply that because all these words are near to each other okay so uh, uh, when we can also plot the cluster like this and uh, this is a uh, cluster so you can see visually uh, in cluster like this we can increase this and uh, see the cluster carefully right so you can see that this is the cluster of green uh, big ball means more frequency success and life and individual so you can see that uh, this cluster is talking about the success successful life of an individual inspired so all the words comes in one cluster so similarly you can read other clusters also okay now i am moving to the word cloud again suppose i want to make this success as an important word success i found that this success is my important word so if you right click over here if you right click over here the software will propose that you can uh, declare success as a node you can you can do a text search query for success also suppose i uh, click on this and now uh, the the software looks this word in different documents so uh, the software is telling you there that, that uh, these are the different transcript and uh, the coverage of this word is 72% in 0.72% in apurva joshi uh, so the highest number of words comes in the shelly luthra transcript almost 0.98% is the coverage uh, of this word in the document of shelly luthra so you can report this uh, table also in the paper where you are showing the importance of the word in different documents okay after that if you want to see all the uh, notes clearly you, you click on the reference and uh, in reference you can you can read all the important lines which are having the, this keyword success so i hope you can see all the uh, reference or all the sentences where this word comes okay now i want to show you one thing more yeah so there is an option called spread to because some sentences are incomplete so you can uh, you can type broad context 
run query and all these statements comes in detail yeah so you can see that uh, what are the different statements which which are having the uh, the word success okay similarly okay i think uh, we have to move to the uh, success word is there run query and we want to see the narrow context now in narrow context you can you can uh, see the main important lines only like three qualities an individual must have to achieve success so where this word is used in the document so these are the different lines which contains the word success so you have different options to see all the uh, lines broad context narrow context coding reference like that okay now if i show you one thing more uh let me go to the run query and uh, text so these are the documents where the this word is having okay let's move once again this is the word success i make a right click on it and click on this option run text search query for success so after that i have a option called word tree so i want to show you this option called word tree if i click on the word tree you can identify the different words which are before and after the word success like uh, habit habit is uh, the frequent word which is coming after the success and one success horizon built achievement clients so these are the different words which is coming uh, before and after the success so if you want to see the word tree clearly you can see like that so this this document is called uh, word free document and this document uh, uh, will tell you in what context this word success are mentioned in the document so i i can see uh, this word tree also in some of the papers and uh, if you are writing a thesis so and in in the thesis you can make word tree and report the the meanings where the word is used in the documents right so uh, word trees are very effective uh, effective output of the keywords and one thing which i want to uh, show here after that uh, okay let me if i if i want to repeat or i want to add one more word in the success for example i want to make a word tree on success and habit so you can use the word and okay now you can see that we are having a option called uh, basically i use and and or and and or and means where these two words comes in the document or means whether the habit or the success comes in the document so you can also use this option for finding out the summary of two words summary or habit so let me run the query or and you can see that uh, the focus is on summary and the habit summary and the habit right if you want both words then you can put and this software will only show you those lines where the success and habit will come so success and habit okay so you can uh, do permutation and combinations using the two words three words four words as many words you want and uh, success not habit success to ho habit now to the written query okay hmm and uh, required okay so because i use and most of the time so i no what is the meaning of this and fine after that uh, now i am going to tell you very very important uh, step which uh, you should understand and you have to repeat this step for uh, many different keywords okay so just see carefully carefully now i am using the word success and i want that 
this word uh, should be my one of the keywords in the document keyword means themes themes or means nodes so i will save this okay first of all uh, go to the summary or references so here i see uh, in what files what are the different statements which are containing this keyword success so now i save this result you can see that there is an option called save results if i save the results and uh, i want to save the results in uh, a query results no problem so this is the location where the software will save the result in the name of uh, for example su success so i want to save this result in the folder after this the software will save the results in a folder and uh, so i have to find out the results um, success success case classification nahi okay let me uh, see once again so uh, i am not able to find out where the software uh, save yeah query results query results so this is the success uh, the software saved uh, this here and i just uh, cut from here and want to want to uh, declare this word as a theme so now i am showing you if i click on the notes and uh, paste here so now i i made this word as a keyword as a theme and this keyword have 42 references and are available in the seven files so i want to see that uh, how this node is important for me so let me show you once more no no i am going to show you one thing more um, if i go to explore and click on success click on this export diagram uh, so you can see that uh, this success word detail of the success word uh, in which file this word is mentioned and if you click on any of the file you will get the link so this uh, diagram we can make for this success and uh, i i can also uh, do the cross tabulation between the success and the uh, demographic profiles of the respondent like uh, you can go to explore so this explore option is very very important in uh, like this this explore word is like analyze in the spss so i want to show you the cross tabulation you can see this cross tab option if you click on the cross tab cross tab option you can uh, make a cross tabulation between this node success okay and with any of the attribute like uh, i search in the attribute and uh, let me run the query and now the software is saying the uh, success is uh, okay four males and three females this file is available in in the entrepreneurs out of which four are male and three are female so you can do some kind of cross tabulation also but because to I, i this time i have only one uh, node if if we have different kind of node we can make a, a better table so um, i can also let me try to make a chart also yeah you can make a chart of the cross tabulation and uh, because at this time i have only one uh, one node if we have many nodes we can make better diagrams okay so after this i am asking one thing are you with me or not so i let me see the chat box whether are you with me or no so uh, pooja sharma is saying no and so some of you are with me and some of you are not with me 
Okay, so I have to repeat the process once again. Let me start from uh, with the process. Let me delete this also. Okay, so I will start from once again. This is my file, and uh, so I have PDF file. I have pictures, songs, transcript, videos. So let me go to the PDF file now. So first of all, open the file. Go to the explore. Go to the word frequency. And uh, three words. We want. We want three words in the. Um, okay. And uh, uh, how many words you want to see? Hundred. or 50 depends upon your choice and uh, uh, so let me open run the query and these are the different words which are important words in all the documents and uh, you have to decide whether all the words are important or not for me it seems to be important and then make the word cloud okay so this is the word cloud i hope up to here you are with me and uh, so tell me up to here you are with me or not so uh, we can make the word cloud we can make the clusters if i click on the clusters clusters are here uh, so this part should be clear because this is very easy part okay so uh, rajiv ji we can also do the uh, select select the folders otherwise whatever is open the software will run analysis on that okay and now after that the things are more complicated because from the word cloud actually from the word cloud i showed you how to convert the keyword into the word tree how to convert the important word into the theme this thing i want to show you suppose in this word uh, suppose the social word seems to be important right you can take any word management like management may be important for me uh, business uh, data online so analysis social right so you have to find out any uh, important keywords so for for example social is my keyword if i make a right click on here so you uh, so you can see that the software is asking you open note preview for social run text search query for social so i am clicking on this option and from here you are having the uh, summary references pdf word tree so i want to click on the word tree this document is important because this do this document is telling me that uh, in which file the weightage of uh, social is more the software is saying that in this file 82% 0.82% so this word is uh, having coverage of 0.82% in this file if i want to see the summary of it let's click on the word tree and the source, the software will show you the summary so how this word is used in the documents because there are many documents so you can see that how much this word is important and it is a summary of the uh, word social and in the social the words which is coming after this word is in including is and uh, uh, like these are the different words social strategies social strategy social stream social studies right the role and these are the words which are coming before this word so this thing i want to show you and uh, we are having the different options like if i want to analyze the social and uh, summary or studies social study like uh, let's see what will happen if you run the query i hope okay so no difference is coming so software will uh, ha software is showing you two words the where the study and the social are combined so where these two words are coming okay so you can you can report where 
social and this study will come so you can combine different words also so this word tree is important because uh, i know that uh, whenever a research scholar or phd holder phd scholar is uh, doing the cluster analysis sorry uh, qualitative analysis uh, normally the scholar reports the word tree also so i hope you understand how to make the word tree from the documents after that now i am showing you how to declare a important keyword as a node right so that thing i want to show the sec second thing which i uh, showed you earlier also how to make an important word a theme how to declare important word as a theme so now i am going to show you that uh, so i delete this go back to the uh, word cloud and click on the word social and then uh, you can click as a uh, as open node preview for social so now the social comes as a uh, as a node uh, let me go to the summary reference all the reference of the social uh, in pdf these are the pdf files where the word is there but uh, uh, okay so let me do it again let me click text search query and go to reference yeah so from here from here we have to select few things like for example uh, you can see a option called spread to so i like to spread to the narrow context so i want only those lines which is containing this word social run query okay so some uh, the complete statement is coming where this word social is there okay now i want to save the results so i want to save the results so this software is asking that from where you uh, you want to save this result so i am just writing social is my uh, the name and i want to save the result in query results you can select your also your des destination also you want to select in the nodes also let me try this can i select my this result in nodes uh okay and uh, yeah in nodes you can see that this this is a, this is a automatic nodes created by the software and uh, in this node there are 11 files and this word is used 613 times 613 times so, okay let me delete this uh, now you can see that social word belongs to 11 files used 613 times now those who are doing the literature review uh, they they can they can think how useful this technique is right if you are looking for some keyword in the in 100 documents you can find out in in very simple way you can convert uh, you can you can extend the literature review on the basis of this okay now i just want to show some more things uh, how, uh, in this context i click on the explore the export diagram okay so this diagram is showing you that uh, this social word is there almost in every uh, uh, diagram all, all, almost every file this con having con this word social so this kind of diagram you can also make these are the pdf files all the files are pdf files and you can also if you click on the social all the links are coming here and you can save it i just want to i just want to show you this uh, click on the share 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 and just go to the export and uh, uh, in export you just click okay and uh, so basically the software is uh, exporting this and uh, let me see uh, where it comes maybe on, on the desktop export so software ne kahan ye is 
software save the output where i have to check i, I think uh, in the yeah session one log no no this is not the um, log so i have to see where the software save the results let me uh, try once again uh, export uh, okay so this is the path so let me convert this path into desktop web page save and okay so these are the different options we can see in the file and now what i'm going to show you is the part of your publication paper so this is the social world okay so you have seen uh, this kind of diagrams in the research paper that uh, there are these are the different files in these files how many references are there and uh, the what is the weighted of weighted weight of each reference so uh, this is also the part of the text mining so this result you can draw you can you can draw from the nvo okay now let me tell you let me ask you once again are you with me or blank a spread concept a spread means uh, you want to see the whole paragraph where this word is or you want to you want to see only the line in which this word is so you have to tell me you have to tell the software uh, what you want to see you want to see the whole paragraph you want to see the whole file or you want to see the uh, line so for me only those lines are important where this word is there so that's why uh, i showed you narrow i selected the narrow option okay so um, I, i i hope it is clear okay so uh, if you click control s it will be saved jab bhi koi mujhse poochta hai ki file ko save kaise karna hai to uske liye jitne bhi software hain sabme ek hi option hota hai control s okay now uh, some more things i am showing you so first of all tell me are we together or you, some of you uh, have headache okay because some of the process i we will repeat in coming sessions also so i request you to note down all these steps and do the practice um, yeah so let me delete each and everything and go back to the pdf files so let me uh, so we are we we are back we are coming back to the files so what i uh, demonstrate you today i demonstrate you today the how to make the uh, frequency table of the words i demonstrate how to remove the uh, remove the stop words unnecessary stop word from the file then i showed you how to uh, make the cluster analysis of the words then i will show you how to make the word trees from the nvo then i will demonstrate how to um, declare the word as a node or a theme and after that uh, I, i will show you how to make the uh, tabular form of a theme and uh, now i am uh, going to show you how to make the mind map so uh, how to make the mind map so uh, just go to the explore and uh, go to the mind map so name of the mind map is session 2 session 2 and uh, i want to write a paper on the online education so <clears throat> the this is the main theme this green line you can see here is the main theme of my study so whatever important keywords i found uh, on the basis of that <clears throat> uh so uh, because on first file i run the analysis and uh, the all the files are the interview transcript of the entrepreneurs so i am writing here my theme as uh, successful successful entrepreneurship so this is my uh, 
broad theme and uh, yeah this is my broad theme and this theme has child themes also so you can see that there are three options here sibling idea child idea and the floating idea so there are many child ideas of this theme and this child idea have many siblings so if i click on this and uh, make some siblings so these are the siblings of the idea okay now uh, the siblings of this idea is successful habit so i can define this uh, habit i can define this successful entrepreneurship on the basis of the successful habit or the the successful uh, mantra uh, business products products and uh, the uh, challenges challenges so you can make your theme like this and suppose successful habit is having some other themes you can click on the sibling uh, no 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 sibling not sibling uh, child idea so this may consist of some uh, the child idea or iske child nahi banana hai sibling banana hai so sibling yeah successful habit is coming from uh, the um, okay so uh, motivation or uh, so this is just at random but the problem is that no no problem is not that the uh, you must have some themes which is coming out from the analysis and the uh, theme can be represented in the form of mind map so this is the point right so after a study uh, after reading all the articles after uh, see the word cloud after see the word frequency you can find out some of the keywords and can uh, represents the, all the keywords in in the form of a theme so that uh, is known as mind map so i hope uh, you can draw this mind map quite easily and do the practice at your home also to make different mind mind maps okay so i think that's it for today uh, because if you learn all these techniques today uh, it requires practice and uh, requires uh, only practice so data set you already have and now i will show you some of the papers so that we can discuss on the output of the papers